What is happening, everybody? Curdy B here, and welcome to part 13? Yes, part, ter part 13 of attempt number one on our Pokemon Sterling Silver Hardcore Nuzlocke. In our last episode, we managed to get our seventh gem badge, and we've got part one done of this uh, final um, stretch of Team Rocket shenanigans. So we managed to get through the radio, the first part of the radio tower. We took on um, Petrel. Uh, there was a new fight, uh, Hall Matron Argenta, before we got down here. So now we're going to take on our rival. We're going to take on the last uh, gauntlet or the last montage. And the last three of the rocket of uh, rocket executives, so all going well. We should hopefully get through this unscathed. We had a, a good few deaths last time, which I'm not happy with, but we have to move on. So as usual, everybody, thank you so much for your support, and thank you very much for watching the content, especially if you are a regular viewer. I'm happy to have you, as long as you're happy to have me. If this is the first time you're watching any of my content, and that you are brand new to the channel, then I have to let you know that please be aware that I do like to swear. If you prefer PG, you may not like me, but if swearing is okay, then come on and let's play. So with all that fucking bollocks out of the road, let's get started. So uh, apologies once again. I don't know what's happening with my camera. It seems to work on and off. It's built, I use, I use a laptop, a laptop, by the way, with a built-in camera. So I'm gonna maybe invest in an actual proper camera. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry about, about that lack of camera game. But we're gonna take on the rival. And here is the team we're going to use to take on the rival. So we've got putting our muck uh, with a black sludge with shadow sneak knock off disable and poison jab. We got tin foil or Igron holding the expert belt with dragon rush, iron tail, stone edge, and earthquake. We've got ribeye or hitmon top uh, holding the black belt with rock smash, mac punch, detect, and fake out. Candy floss or Altaria, who's getting a fair bit of use there lately, uh, holding the shell bell with icy wind, pluck, dragon claw, and fly. Cherry Big or Magnet Zone with Wise Glasses with Discharge, Magnet Bomb, Flamethrower and Thunderbolt. And finally, Carrot or Zumeril holding the Mystic Water for Fake Out, Return, Waterfall and Aqua Jet. So, this hopefully should be straightforward enough uh, based on what uh, we've got planned. <coughs> there he is. Holy dude! What I don't even for is to deceive you. I thought it would let me tell you. And it would leave me to lads. Well, he never showed up. <laughs> no matter. I was planning to beat you after lads. But since you're here, I'll be paying my debts. <laughs> Wedgie bastard. Right. Do 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 do. I've heard this speed anyway. So Gengar is out. So it has a focus sash. So he's going to knock off. Don't paralyze me. Thank you. I prefer to be at this speed. Do 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 do. Shadow stick. That's easy enough. Typhlosion is next. So Typhlosion, I believe, has Earth Power. So what we're going to do? It has a Pasho Berry. We're going to go into Candy Floss here on the Earth Power. We're going to pluck away the Pasho Berry. Don't flinch. But a shell bell, and we're going to go into Carrot, Fake Out, Aqua Jet to kill Typhlosion. It's fine, Fake Out. Aqua Jet. Nice crit, didn't matter. Magnezone is in next, so we're going to take it on with our own Magnezone that has Flamethrower. Why would you use Signal Beam there? It has an Aqua Barrier, but after one more it should be fine. No confusion, very nice. Douglas Magnuson. Alakazam in the next, so that's a straight swap into Pudding. That should be fine. We live a credit of that anyway as well, so knock off. 
told you. It's us as well. In the red. Crowbar, this is a random move, but uh, I think... Uh, what are your moves again? I, I believe that's why I brought Tinfoil. I don't think you can do anything to, to Tinfoil. Uh, double team here. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. To end the Tinfoil. It might double team and be a pain in the arse here. But we're just going to hopefully hit the Stone Edge. Hit through the double team. Come on, Stone Miss. Yes! Ha! Take that. I'm trying to fuck a double team on me. Pudding, we're level 54. Ooh! Oh, you got abso fucking Uh, 100 base, uh, 120 base power, 100 actually move. Yep, sorry, poison jab. Bye. That'll do. We guys in next. Uh, this is simply, even though it has a pasture berry, I'm oh, sorry, not pasture berry, one of the, uh, chapel berry. Fake out, Mac, um, Mac Punch still kills. What is with all the fucking critical hits here today? Bye, Weavile. Why? Why did we lose? Why did we lose? <laughs> we lost it. <laughs> I don't understand! <laughs> we said when Let's Guy said true! Uh, don't treat Pokemon properly! <laughs> Love! Trust! Are they really what I lack? Are they keeping me from winning? I just don't understand! But no, it's not going to end here! Not now! <laughs> not because of this! Now I will give up my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer! <laughs> yeah. Fuck off, you little red-headed shite! Fuck off, Lara. <laughs> right. Um, okay, so we now have another gauntlet. Well, not gauntlet. Another load of grunts we have to go through, uh, which will take us here, I believe, then um, back to the radio tower uh, for a couple more, and then we start taking on the um, Proton, Ariana, and Archer, the executive. So, back to the grind, back to the... Team Rocket Grunts. Wish me luck.
Right, so after days of planning and other stuff, it is now time for the three fights in a row with the Team Rocket Executives. First up is Proton. Here's the team we're going to bring with us. Oh, by the way, level cap is not 53, it is now 54. Okay, so it's 54 for the first two fights, and it's 55 for the final fight, so there we go. So, first up, we're bringing Kiwi the Wobbuffet, holding the Shell Bell, which is very important, and I'll explain why shortly. Uh, with Fusion Move Set Thunder Wave, Counter, Mirror Coat, and Encore. We've got Candy Floss the Altaria, holding the Lumberry, with Icy Wind, Perish Song, Dragon Claw, and Fly. Switch these around slightly. We got Port Chop the Walrein, uh, holding the Chesto Berry with Ice Body, with Rest, Ice Beam, Perish Song, and Surf. You are here for the sole purpose of using Perish Song on Suicune, which is our counter to that. Putting the Muck, holding the Black Sludge with Sticky Hold, with Shadow Sneak, Knock Off, Disable, and Gunk Shot. Switches around. Potato, the Dog Trio, holding the Muscle Band with Arena Trap, with Close Combat, U Turn, Earthquake, and Sucker Punch. And finally, Trey Bake, our Magnet Zone, holding the Expert Belt with this Discharge, Magnet Bomb, Flamethrower, and Thunderbolt. So, I have prepped for days for these three fights with strategies. And of course, the first fight involves us not getting critical hit twice. So much fun! So here we go. Ah, I can't remember what voice I gave you. Fuck it. No, wait just one second. Aren't you the one who got in our way at Slowpoke Well? I see you're doing all this because you want to make me angry. Be careful. Since you know it, I'll show you the full extent of a Team Rocket Executive's wrath. I can't remember your voice. I don't give a fuck. Right. You got nice fast speed today. So. This is where things can go off the rails straight away. So. Crobat is going to want to Brave Bird here. And we're going to counter and kill Crobat. Now, we want to avoid a critical hit, we also want to get, with the shell recovery, we want Kiwi's HP to be 184 or above, and the reason why we want that is because we're going to use Kiwi to take down Proton's Venusaur, and Venus Venusaur's Leaf Storm Maximum roll it will do, non crit obviously, is 183. So it's the max damage it can do to Kiwi. So I want this Crobat to first of all not crit and to get a low enough roll where we're not risking then a max roll for the Miracle later on. And we need to not get crit twice. So, first of all, counter. I don't think that's going to work. Okay. I think it was like about three or four rules now that kill us. chance this now. Right. Pity next. This should be straightforward enough so far. And just really knock off until it does stink that. Get the crit out of the way now, yeah. I'm happy with that. <laughs> knock off. Don't burn. Actually, I don't mind if you burn because it doesn't that not make any difference. Shadow Stink doesn't kill. Here's just going to knock off again.
That's actually perfect. Okay, right? I didn't expect. I didn't expect the switch. Okay, right. Uh, you want to earthquake? Oh no, got wrong. So can the focus size is off now? So candy floss on the earthquake. Potato on the thunder punch. This this was the original plan, but I thought candy floss was gonna have to take some damage. This might work out now. If Kiwi goes down, we can use a combination of potato and candy floss, which was the backup plan, to take out this Venusaur. So the potato here. Earthquake. And what should happen now then, actually? Because I hadn't actually planned for this. Hypno should come back in. Because it sees a kill with Psychic. We can U-turn out into Kiwi. Because the plan, the, the original plan was we're going to use Parasol and Suicune to force it out and switch into Kiwi. Because Venusaur then come in and we, we switch in Kiwi for free because although Electrode is, uh, it has a higher base power or base um, special attack, the attack that does the most damage is Venusaur's Leaf Storm to Wall Rain. I'm sorry if I'm, uh, if I'm confusing here, but yeah, let's kill this thing. This should bring out Hypno then. And I'm going to then U turn, kill that, go into Kiwi. Yeah. Because the, 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 the biggest base power move left will be that Leaf Storm. Okay. Right, yes. Don't crit me, please. I'm asking, I'm getting a low roll, please. Please, please. Electro them, that's fine. Oh, Kiwi, I love you. I love you. You lived on two. Oh. <laughs> right. Whew. We're, we're fine now. We're fine now. So, Trey Big in from the Electrode. Perfect. Now, we just play Thor to kill. Don't paralyze me. Oh, that's alright. So now, what we're going to do, this actually works out really well for what I want to do next. We're going to use Perish on on the Suicune to make sure it dies. This, this is the, the sole reason why we've brought, we've brought wall, wall Rain. So poor Chop in. That's perfect. That means you can't mind next. Fuck off, stop critting me. At least you crit me now and then crit me the time I, I did. I no, didn't need crit. Perish song. That's fine. I'll just look, 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 look at crit again here. I'll use per, use calm mind again. We're gonna rest up. We're gonna rest up again. I will just have to switch in. I fit. I believe. Candy Foss will not live even a crit surf because it's full health. That that actually worked out quite well. So, Suicune dies to the Perry song. We have no deaths, hopefully. Woohoo! Haha! <laughs> oh, Kiwi, I love you, lived on too. Fuck off, Proton. That's the first one down. What is that? That's Bright Powder, I think. Okay. Right, so that's one down. We now think it's Ariana next. We're going to get prepared for um, Ariana now. So again, plan, I have a plan in my head. And we're going to try and execute that now. So, 
Right, second of three fights, so we're up against Ariana now. Um, this is the team we're going to bring with us to get through this one. So Apple is back, Apple of Dust Clubs holding the black glasses uh, with uh, pressure, shadow punch, circle punch, ice punch, which we use the, one of our heart skills to teach because it's what we need for this flag on, and with a wisp. Peanuts, the um, battle armor having Dunfan holding the chest to bury with head smash, charm, rest, and earthquake. Pudding is still here, the muck with black sludge, the game with knock, slow, knock off, dark, gunk, <laughs> knock off, gunk shot, disable and shadow sneak. Potato is still here, still with a muscle band with close combat, earthquake, earth, circle punch, and new turn. Trevik is still here, but we have made a slight change and taught it the volt switch because we're going to need a slow volt switch in this one. Uh, also with Magna Bomb, Freeman Throw, and Thunderbolt. And back on the team is all of the Golem holding the expert belt with Excel Rock, Sucker Punch, Earthquake, and Rock Blast. So, again, plan this one to the move. Uh, hopefully this goes uh, as well as it should. Um, but now lock yourself in. Oh, not doing voice. Hey, you remember me from the hideout in Mahogany Town? This time, hee hee hee. This time looks like you're really all alone, all alone. So it should be quite easy. Bring it. Let's finish this. I'll finish you, you fucking arsehole. So Ariana leads with a fly gun. This is why we're leading with Dusclops. Uh, we're going to ice punch. Now the only thing that be scary here is uh, we can we can live a crit. We hopefully the ice punch doesn't low roll because ice punch plus circle punch should kill here. So let's ice punch. Just don't low roll us, please. That's fine. That kills. This should bring out Miss Magius. And we're going to swap into Pudding to kill that. Yep. So on the Onimus, Onimus Wind, we're going to go to Pudding. Alright. That's fine. Just have to live a crit or sphere here. That's fine. <laughs> That's actually mm, not great because we needed putting to be have a lot of health. Hodge Crow. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're in the peanuts. Peanuts here. Cast battle armor, conquer crit. So the plan is now we come in on the drill run, rest on the Brave Bird, get back to full health, and then when Hans Crow Brave Birds again, we head smash. That brings Peanuts down into the red, which should be out in Tay for an extreme speed. More Brave Bird. Either one's fine. We, we live either one anyway. We can't get crit. My only fear here now is that. We may not go to the red on this. Because of Hans Crew's little help. I think it's close enough. So Entei should exchange speed here. We're going to into Olive. That's still fine, that's still fine. Into pudding on the HP grass. And I think we have to avoid a critical hit here on a gunk shot. this yes okay so and today sees the kill now extreme speed we go back into olive accelerock we we locked out there I must say accelerock kills this should be it in Metacross We're going to switch in Prey Bake. Now, the plan is here Flamethrower once, then Volt Switch out into Dug Trio, kill the Metagoss with Earthquake, kill the Electivire with Earthquake. It's fine. 
My only worry here is if it gets an attack boost, <coughs> it might decide to boom. Sweet merciful crap! Well, this fucks up my plan now. This is any move. It is literally any move. I think I have to go into Apple here. And then be in a thunder. That's the only thing I can do here now. I didn't think it would explode like that. Please use either Volt Switch. No, don't use Fire Blast. Or Thunder. Yes! Okay, right. That's fine. Because it wants to now use an th electric move, you can go safely into Potato and kill with Earthquake. <sighs> this should not be this stressful. <sighs> I didn't think it would boom there. We have avoided critical hits like a champion there. Okay. Ariana time, we have one more to go. Okay, final fight against Archer. Here's the team we're going to bring for this one. So, Peanuts is still here, still with the Chest of Baron, still with Head Smash, Charm, Rest, and Earthquake. Potato is still here with the Muscle Band, still with Close Combat, Earthquake, Sucker Punch, and U Turn. Pudding is still here, uh, the Holy Expert Belt this time, so we can guarantee the kill on Gengar with knockoff, gunk, shot, disable, and shadow sneak. Coming in is Icing, uh, holding a Lumberry with Future Sight, Grass Dot, Yawn, and Slack Off. You're here just to pivot. Back in is Red Eye, our Hitmontop, holding the Black Belt with Rock Smash, Mac Punch, Detect, and Fake Out. And joining us is Pumpkin, our unaware Quagsire, holding the Shell Bell with Recover, Counter, Aqua Tail, and Dig. Change that around slightly. Okay, so again, we have a plan. Hopefully, it fills off. We need to avoid, I think, a couple of crits. Right, let's get locked in then. I think you give Archer voice shit. Oh, so you managed to get this far. You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio town in 15 months. I'll come back. That should bring our boss Giovanni back from the solitary training. We're going to regain our former glory. I will not allow you to interfere with my armadiculous plans. My foot is going to interfere with your arse. That's what's going to happen. So, Archer sends out a Taurus. So, we are sending out Peanuts. Peanuts is bad armor. Can't get crit, crit. So, we're going to charm and just let this Taurus kill itself by resting over and over and over again. So, there we go. It can no longer kill us in three hits. And we're just going to rest. The reason I want to do this is because I don't want to risk the AI switching out. If I Earthquake, the AI then likes to switch to a Pokemon that's immune to the move. Or resist the move. Sometimes. And I need Taurus to die now. So it's going to keep resting. And let Taurus die. What this should then do is bait out the Starmie. And then I'm going to use Icing to pivot into Potato to then U turn a couple of times to kill it. So just rest again. one more time. Just 
one more or two more. Yep. That'd actually be Taurus dead. We're half health. That's fine. Starry should come out here. There we go. So we pivot straight into icing. Perfect. Don't crit us again. Don't do it again. That's fine. Potato. There we go. Uh, we're going to U-turn into... Pumpkin. The draw the Hound Doom. Hanyun has energy ball and it should see the kill. There we go. We here now switch into ribeye. We can live a crit and life orb recoil plus fake out plus mac punch kills the hound doom. Fake out. Mac punch. Now this will either be Raikou or Gengar. Tarantar's not going to come out here, but it's either be Raikou or Gengar. I want to switch to the appropriate counter. Raikou, so for Raikou, straight the pumpkin. I'd rather calm mind again. Need to avoid a crit now. What should that do? 108 to 72. 64. Don't crit me. It's okay. I, I think we would have been alright there actually. So this should bring in Gengar next. And we're going to switch straight into Pudding. So, switching into Pudding on the Shadow Ball. Don't freeze me. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Are you fucking kidding me? Why would you use Ice Beam there? Oh my god. Sorry about the edit there, my daughter walked in. I cannot believe the both the bad and the good luck there, that's unbelievable. Ah. Oh. Right, we shadow sneak here for the kill. Now it's turn of this Tyranitar. The question is, does this Tyranitar now want to use Accelerock because of the puddings? If it does, I can switch straight into Potato here. So it's either that or I sack Icing to guarantee. To guarantee. Usually they want to Excel Rock when they're in this this uh and I'm fairly certain Excel Rock kills here.
or I do icing first. Because Acceloroc will take icing down to Acceloroc. So I think, I think to be absolutely 100% safe here, because icing is expendable, and I don't foresee at this point in time needing icing for anything else later on. Whereas I do think I will definitely potato later on. So going by the risk versus reward here, I'm going to go into icing. If it accelerates, it won't hopefully not kill icing, and then it'll want to accelerate again. I can then switch safely into potato because you quad resist and kill. But if it doesn't want to accelerate here, I lose potato to either. It's not going to crunch. So I think icing to play. Why <sighs> well, I have to crit? I would have loved that. You would have done that. Again, I, I, the, the risk was too great there. I thought I would have accelerated, but the, the risk was far too great for me to not switch into potato. To me to switch into potato, could have done something else there. But okay, I have to accept that. And that is Archer done. Oh, I can't believe that freeze. And then we thought. That is such fortune. How could this be? Our teams have come to naught. There's no task after all. Fuck the microphone. Thank you, guys. Number four, we have a spanty rock here today. Farewell. Bye. Who the fuck are you? Thank you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fuck off! <laughs> okay. Go away, Tolly! What do you want from me? No. Okay, so that'll do us for today's episode. So we had one more death there, unfortunately. Let's just update that. I can't remember what the uh, level cap is right now. But I will get that updated, so that's 13 deaths. I still think it's not that bad, all things considered. Uh, we're, we're making our way now towards the BF and final gym. Um, who am I doing? Dog. But that. Fucking microphone. That'll do us for today's episode. So, um, again, thank you much for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you are a content creator yourself, then subscribe to the channel. I'll subscribe back to you. Let's grow our community, community together. With that being said, take it easy, all the best, and good luck. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.